Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Look at the glorious street. The light coming on the street. It's a gorgeous day in fall Chicago. All right, we've all piled in the car. We're gonna head off to Bang Bang Pies, which is a Phil Rosenthal, somebody feed Phil special, but we're going to meet our dear friends, Mikey Lauren and Lucy. Um, for a little brunch action, maybe stop at a park, maybe get some coffee, just hang out this fine fall Chicago morning. And that was actually their idea. Yeah. They, it's like one of their places because they are Chicagoans and they love it, but we've never been. So. So Got a parking spot down the street. Look at all the fall colors. Look at all the fall colors. Damsy, look at all the fall colors. Daddy, look at all the fall colors. And small. <laughs> We're ready to go to Bang Bang Pies. Woohoo! Gonna get some biscuits. They got biscuits, sausage, pies. Bacon. Bake candy bacon. James, come on. Let's see what our friends are. <laughs> Got an Arnold Palmer. What did you get? Pita? Just simple coffee. Just a simple coffee. We made a friend who's letting us play with their train, but James is opting for just the gravel. We're trying to figure out if these were for decoration or if they're using for pies. But I wonder if they'll carve them. Maybe. Because it's a little warm because the carved pumpkins are going to yeah. go a little nasty. Yeah. We devoured the food. It was delicious. I'm about to eat every last morsel of this chocolate Wait, pie. Wait, it's like the Dalmatian. He does. James, look up. James. Did you get the bike? <laughs> <laughs> a little garden action over here. A little, a little yard. James is covered in smut, soot in the gravel. You find a rock? I thought these were just plants, but there's like peppers growing and tomatoes. Those peppers. That was phenomenal. I'm nervous about the wind. I'm sorry about some of our audio lately. We're still getting growing pains with our new setup, but um, we are gonna go to the park now. Sarah is Just a, a nearby park. Highly against like the dead cats that go on, on the microphones. It just looks like a straight up tail. It's Teddy's favorite song. It's a gorgeous day downtown. Alas, we are heading. What? Fall colors. We're heading to the south side to have dinner at Christina and Grant's, and we're gonna do some repairs in their house and hang out with the kids. But Chicago is alive on this fall warm day. Woo! It is almost at 79 degrees. All right, so we're at the Sicards. Um, we're hanging out. We're gonna do some grilling and dinner later, but we're gonna do. I'm gonna be working on two projects while we're here. They 
should be simple ones, but ones I've never done before. So the first is in their upstairs bathroom, this tub valve, the balance cartridge, which is like helps mix the hot and cold has, I believe gone bad. So we're gonna get this replaced. And I actually, there's access in the closet behind this wall in their closet now. So this wall comes out and there's actually some access up here. This is the other side of the tub. It's pretty cool. You've never seen the outside of a tub. And then uh, there is a copper pipe for the um, ejector pump that we fixed a couple months ago. Um, has a pinhole leak in it. So we're gonna replace some of the two inch pipe downstairs with a PVC. So let me take a look at this first and see what's going on. Don't you even eye the camera, I see it in your eyes. Say hello. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> we go look inside. <laughs> you see him? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Teddy's taking a snooze. But these hooligans. Wow. Okay, do it again. Mixing our little couscous, Greek yogurt, tomato, cucumber, mint salad over here. We got yellow rice and naan. And then Christina grilled chicken shawarma. These are the thighs, right, from Trader Joe's? Chicken shawarma thighs from Trader Joe's. Alrighty, we're winding down. It's a little later than we expected. Oh, really? <laughs> and we have Haunted Mansion walkthrough on. It's Lucas' fave. What are we watching? What is this? Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. We're gonna play dinos. Of course, the house project that Peter is helping them with took a little longer than expected. It's eight, so we'll see how much longer we're here. I think that there's one other thing he's supposed to do, but we'll see. All right, we are back downtown. Kids are asleep in the car. Let's get them put in their room. And we'll give you an update on how the rest of our Sunday went. What happened to my night? Let me tell you. 
And this is what happens, this is what I've learned. I'm not a homeowner, but I will be one day, and I've assisted in a lot of home repairs for Sarah's mom over the years, and now I've helped out with a few things for Christina and Grant in that house too. Um, everything I've ever done in that house, I've never done before, but with the advent of Google and YouTube, um, I just give it a whirl and we see, and we hope I can get it done sometimes, and if not, then we just call in a real professional. So tonight, we had our sight, our sight set on two things. One, which is what I showed you, was the, uh, the tub. It had some like clanking, thunking, and then like not good control of the temperature. And then they had a pinhole leak in a copper pipe attached to the ejector pump in the basement. The, um, after some investigating, we came to the conclusion that a balance pressure cartridge, which is just like a plastic piece to the tub, needed to get replaced for the tub, and that was it, which was great because it's like 22 bucks at Home Depot. And everything I saw online was like, this should, should be, you know, a 30 minute fix. And I even showed it to Christina. I was like, here's what I have to do. It's pretty simple. I don't know how to sit comfortably right now because I, I sat crouched in a bathtub for like three and a half, four hours. Well, we have hard water here in Chicago full of lots of calcium. And that tub, that bathroom got redone 15 years ago. 17 years ago, 2005, whatever 20, 20, 2005 to 2022 is, that's when those pieces were put in. And um, so that, all the year of the gook and like hard water and calcium growth in there, in that cartridge, pretty much cemented that cartridge in. And I pulled the, f I went to go pull it out and the face of it just snapped right off. So I couldn't just like go crazy and hammer away this thing because it's in a copper piping enclosure that like I didn't want to break that because that would have mean like opening up the wall to replace it rather than just a simple $20 plastic cartridge. So for about three hours I was banging, pulling, pushing, trying to get it out without having to break anything else and it took a while. It was questionable at times because I had to turn off the water to the house but we got it out. We got a new one in. It's all good. So they have water again and they have a bathtub that they can bathe their kids in. Um, so it's some learning experience, but I love doing these kinds of projects. And then we rushed and tried to get done the replacing of a copper pipe with a pinhole leak in it with just some PVC. But I'll be honest, I was trying to do it the quick and lazy way and use these uh, joints that weren't hard PVC, but like flex, flex, like flex elbow joints um, to connect PVC plastic pipe to uh, the copper pipes that were still good. And it worked. The, the leak is gone. But when we were running the water to try to make sure the ejector pump worked well, we don't like how much it like swings and moves. And we'll show you when we go to fix it like next weekend. Um, but we need to go back in there and replace all of the copper with PVC and use hard joints and not these flexible black, like rubbery plastic joints, which, you know, lesson learned and it's a cheap fix. It's like an extra like 10 bucks to get those pieces to replace it with. But no more leaks, fixed bathtub. So. I think it's an A for the tub and a B minus for the ejector pump pipe. I'm gonna sign off just in case we don't end up saying anything else. James fell asleep in the car and stayed asleep. Teddy fell asleep in the car but woke up when we brought him in. So Sarah's putting Teddy down, James is down right now. I actually need to take a shower because you got to get some gross stuff on you and you're messing with bathtub pipes and ejector pump pipes. So I'm gonna take a shower, get into some clean clothes. My hands are like so raw and stuff but I do love... Um, working on a house project. I told, I told Christina that between working on projects for their mom all these years and then now with for her like I don't have a home but it has built my confidence that um, for a, a various amount of home ownership-esque projects that uh, I feel confident that to some level I'll be able to you know I'll be able to try to fix something in a house I own one day before just calling in a professional. Of course I'll call in ones that I need but uh, it's good to be home. Good morning, we're so happy you're here. I don't know if we signed off last night. I think it's gonna be a two-parter, so still come back tomorrow if you like it, but we're having some ramen for lunch, and we're gonna do a taste test of those pickles. You wanna try? So we got these pickles at that market we went to with the Earhart's in St. Joe. They're by Bixie Farms. They're hot and sweet dill pickles. I have some chopped up for James and a full one for me. They, wait, where are the ingredients? Here they are. 
cucumbers, water, sugar, vinegar, jalapeno peppers, garlic, salt, bell peppers, sweet onions, dill, weed, and spices. And you can see all of those bits floating around in there. So we're gonna we're gonna try them. You try this pickle. Wanna try? Nope, not for you. Hmm? We'll try it again. Oh, rejected. <laughs> I probably should have tasted it first <laughs> to make sure it wasn't super, super spicy. They are spicy. They're not painfully spicy. They're right up my alley, like a little bit of sweet. Got that little kick. Obviously salty and sour with the dill. I love them. I can already feel the heartburn <laughs> coming along though. I am headed to a dentist appointment this morning. I thought it was at 11. It was actually at nine. They called me and they're like, where are you? They fit me in at noon. So I will not have to reschedule it again. Cause this is like the third time I'm rescheduling it since Teddy's been bored. Um, so yeah, checking off, keeping, keeping our regular health on track. All right, I'm on my way home. Stop by Walgreens to get a few yummy things because I feel sorry for myself. I have multiple cavities and I'm not happy about it. This is a fun uh, latte menu. Now it's Max Denison Loves Yabos at our um, coffee and tea exchange. Maybe we'll come here on Halloween. Sorry, that distracted me. Anywho, my last appointment, I had a really good report, but I also couldn't get x-rays done because I was pregnant. And so they did say that it was probably because those started, they had probably started back then, but they couldn't see them. Um, but now one is really big and I need to crown. And there's a couple of other ones that are like of concern but not like the crown needs to be dealt with right away. I'm really just not happy. My last appointment was like great. And so now I just feel like, oh my gosh, all of a sudden and all of these, all of these cavities have <laughs> come to surface. And I'm sad because I felt like I was doing a good job, but that's all right. Like I said, the reason where I was like proud to be going to the dentist is because we want to be better about our just like, Routine how I'm also like I have just like a normal checkup and blood work this week I've just been always going to like specialists for things. So these just like routine visits We're prioritizing um, So yeah, that it, It's good because we're getting it taken care of but also just Not something that you want to to hear back, but It is what it is. I got treats to make me feel better per usual this is a glorious tree. We're on a little walk. We're, we're in like fake back to summer for a second. So we're just we're just soaking it up. I don't know if you can hear me because the wind. It's a breezy day here in the Windy City. I am out running. Uh, first run since Chicago Marathon. I wanted to get out in a week and I probably could have, but you know, the mental game comes into play and I, I didn't. It took two weeks off, but that's all right. So I'm back in full force. We're hitting into training for Dopey, Mar Dopey Challenge come this January. I'm diving into whatever week is this training block I found. I think I'm supposed to run 18 miles on Sunday. So we'll see if we get there, but uh, just doing a quick four miles today. I'm gonna turn around just in case it, you can hear me now because the microphone on my cell phone, but you won't be able to hear me when I turn around, but look at this city. Ah! I love it. Right, time to go home, look at this hair. I couldn't find my hat. I was not fully ready for the run. All right, today is dedicated. Hello. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. 
Um, today is dedicated to getting back on track after our very busy weekend. Hello. What are you doing? Um, and getting back on track we are. Um, we got some laundry going. Peter's running. Um, what else? Tidy. Just kind of getting our lives back in order. I am going to cook dinner tonight. My lunch is actually just finished up. Um, and I just gotta say thank you to the kind soul who found my ID on our block, returned it to me. It was returned, my little pouch, without my credit and debit cards, but those are easy to turn off. Getting you my ID replaced isn't easy. Um, so thank you to that kind person. Um, what else have we gotten in order to date friends? I feel like my accomplished list should be longer for how tired I am <laughs> as the day um, is we're on the latter half of the day. Oh, I'm getting our our big vlog up from our trip to Michigan which which took some some extra love. Um, yeah, feel good. We have another like busy week leading up to Halloween, so this will be great. A good foundation to um, take the week off with with the exception of the poor news regarding my dental work I need. Little binky thief. Are you playing? Oh, he kicking you? Oh no. For dinner tonight, we're going real simple. This is chickpea pasta. I'm gonna make it with some plant-based butter, garlic, just yummy butter noodles. Then I have some plant-based frankfurters cooking up with some, why can't I think of what it's called? Sauerkraut. Um, and then we're gonna have applesauce, so really easy. Do the sauce and dance. Ooh, ooh. Do the sauce and dance. Good job, Jamesy. What are you doing over there? You being a happy baby? Is it good? Mmm, he's a very good kid. Are you mad it's all done? No, it's Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No, no, no. No, he's not behind the clock. James, he's reading the teddy. He's not in the piano. What about in the closet? <laughs> you just can't get enough of your big brother, huh? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Is he under the bed? <laughs> Whoa. Is he under the bed, Teddy? No. No. <laughs> ah. <gasps> Yay, you found Spot. Yay. How's everybody? Hi. Reading books, kicking each other softly, <laughs> giving each other kisses. Little, little love kicks. You gonna fly him? Oh. oh. A one, a two, a three. It's late. It is late. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Are you? Did you have a rejuvenating day that you needed? Yeah. Good. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.